How's everybody doing? This is going to be, hopefully, very short. I've been answering this question all day long. This is the, the new big question that everybody's hitting me up with on YouTube, uh, Facebook, uh, on the phone. Is, do you think the mark of the beast is going to be the vaccine? And one person, one person said, I just hate the fact that you're, you're pushing this vaccine. And I said, no, I'm not pushing the vaccine. It's the last thing I would do. I know that everything they do is nefarious. So let me go ahead and explain the concept to you. The mark of the beast, before I get into the Bible verses and so forth, the mark of the beast doesn't take place until after the Antichrist, which I believe is Donald Trump, receives a wound by the sword, or sword, but did live. And I saw one of his heads as if it were wounded to death, and his deadly wound was healed. And all the world wondered after the beast. And right here in 12 it says, And he exceedeth all power of the first beast before him, uh, and causeth the earth and them which dwell therein to worship the first beast, who what? Whose deadly wound was healed. Um, and here in 14 it says, That they should make an image to the beast which was wounded by the sword and did live. And then as you get further down, you get to the mark. Okay. So all of these things have to happen first. What else has to happen first? Well, uh, the Antichrist will, and the false prophet will do with great wonder so that he make fire come down from heaven and on the earth in the sight of man. All of this takes place. You see, right now... Trump is receiving his corona, his crown. That's what he's receiving, the crown, the corona. This is a ritual event. I said this six weeks ago, that that's what this is. And at some point, he's going to be popped, but it will be a clone. you got to watch all six parts of Donald Trump is the Antichrist to understand what I mean by that. That's a long story. And... Then you get the four horses of the apocalypse. Already you got the wider on the white horse. The Antichrist goes forth conquering and to conquer. Goes forth conquering and to conquer. Um, here comes another horse. Red. Death. We're killing one another. Black horse. Got a pair of balances. Um, four beasts say a measure of wheat for a penny. And three measures of barley for a penny. Don't hurt the oil and the wine. So there's your famine. When you open the fourth seal, come and see. It's the pale horse. And his name that sat on him was death, and hell followed him. Death, I mean, hell just means the grave. So you've got death, and the grave is following. That's a great series to watch. i got a two-part series that hell is not eternal torment. And, uh... I go into great detail to show you that all of those who are not sheep that are born goats, they just receive a second death. That's all it is, a second death. So, at some point here, once all the killing is taking place, because you look at 6 and, it's, and it said, With power was given unto them over a fourth over the fourth part of the earth to kill with a sword and with hunger there's the famine and with death and with the beast of the earth so somewhere in revelation 7 and 8 i believe is world war 3 and then the ending of World War III and the Antichrist declaring himself to be God in the temple bringing an end to the war and he's denouncing all religion 
because when you read Revelation 17, it is clear. And I just did a video today, the difference between the Whore of Babylon and Mystery Babylon the Great. So you just got to watch that. I just did it today. So... You see this here where it says, and for this cause, God will send them a strong delusion that they would believe a lie. Which mirrors, for there shall arise false Christ and false prophets and shall show great signs and wonders insomuch that if it were possible, they shall deceive the very elect of God. And if you've been paying attention to my Bible studies about election, predestination, and so forth, you know that the elect of God are God's chosen people. No, I'm not talking about Old Testament. If you understand the truth of the Bible, you know that all of God's children are chosen at the foundation of the world. So, go check out my 11-part series or my two-part series about election and predestination. I've got ugh, roughly 12 hours of that alone that I teach on my YouTube. So, the mark of the beast, let's just say that you receive a vaccine biometric chip that allows you to buy or sell. But none of this other stuff has gone on. There's no deadly wound that got healed by anybody. Nobody received a deadly wound. I mean, I'm reading it over here in the New Living Translation on the right-hand column that y'all can't see. And uh, he ordered the people to make a great statue of the first beast who was fatally wounded and then came back to life. Okay? That's how it's worded. That's, that's what it is. Has anybody miraculously come back to life yet that was shot and killed? No. That's going to be Trump. He's going to be taken out. But it's going to be a clone that's taken out. That's why he's able to miraculously reappear. So, and again, Donald Trump is the Antichrist series parts one through six. Uh, look for it. So, you might have a biometric chip in you that might be called also a vaccine tracking device. Why is it called a vaccine? Because it's supposed to keep you alive. Alive from what? Well, if I type out this word here, so I don't get flagged on my YouTube channel. See that right there? See that word? That's going to come with a, an abundant of very harmful radiation. Well, it's going to be called a vaccine to keep you alive because that heavy radiation, especially at the 60 gigahertz level, will, will mimic a flu and a respiratory issue so greatly badly because it does not allow oxygen to uptake into your body and you suffocate to death. So once that gets released, if you don't have the quote-unquote vaccine, the technology itself could kill you. It's a directed energy weapon. If I just Google that, It was created by Israel, Lockheed Martin Directed Energy Technology. Um, a weapons grade millimeter wave radiation 5G's role. Today's weapons are known as directed energy weapons. That's what created the fires out in California, by the way. And dangerous technology like 5G with no independent safety or help, blah, 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 blah. 5G is a kill platform, a directed energy weapon. Okay, so you get the idea. Active denial system. <laughs> uh, there you go. Anyway, so my point is, 
I heard, I read or heard in something that this biometric chip device could, would have copper in it. Well, guess what copper does? It's a great metal for grounding you from electromagnetic field. So a very good possibility that what this new biometric tracking device, quote unquote, vaccine will do is actually keep you alive. It's not the mark of the beast, even though you can't buy or sell without it. It doesn't say, here's the mark of the beast. You can't buy or sell. Period. No. It talks about that you must worship the image of the beast. And that he gave power unto the life and the image of the beast, that the image of the beast should both speak and cause as many as would not worship the image of the beast to be killed. And he causeth all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark on their right hand and their foreheads. And that no man might buy or sell, save he that have the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name. So you must worship the image if you already have a chip in you that's about buying or selling but it happens before the antichrist has declared himself to be god and risen from the dead from the deadly wound by the sword that's not the mark it might be something that you can't buy or sell without but it's not the mark it might be the same chip that you that will be uploading demons into your body because that's what the mark does. And that's what this new technology is for. That new technology, that new technology right there. The FIVE GEE technology. That new technology will carry the ghost in the machine into your body. If you don't understand that artificial intelligence is the ghost in the machine, is the mark of the beast, then you've got to watch that hour. It's basically a two-hour video that I did on this. I detail it. That that's what they, um, that's what they tell you. They tell you that the D-Wave quantum computer of artificial intelligence is so much better than a regular man-made computer because it gets its information from parallel universes. And then later on, in another interview, the same guy tells you that they're not alien demons like we think of them. They just don't want to hurt us any more than we want to hurt an ant. Which is like the Trojan horse. He's trying to, he's trying to give you the soft sell. They don't want to mess with us, man. They don't want to hurt us. We just need to figure out how to control them and let them help us. So... And I show videos of the people that work for this company telling you that their information on artificial, that the, on artificial intelligence computers, that they get their information from a parallel universe, which is the, the demonic realm. I was just telling somebody in conversation that I believe that's what does all of our computer animation in movies. I think it writes songs. I think it writes movie scripts. I think it choreographs... Um, uh, what do you call it? Uh, Super Bowl halftime shows. There's a video called I Pet Goat 2. I Pet Goat 2 Heliofont. Just a, just a wicked little video. I believe this was all done by artificial intelligence. This is their new world order. He's got 666 on his forehead. He's in a FEMA camp of some kind or entrapped. So this came out July 3rd of 2012. I guarantee you that that was done by the ghost in the machine. I guarantee it. I guarantee it. It's computer animation. Well, can't a ghost in the machine 
uh, a demonic entity inside of a computer do computer animation? You betcha. I think it's written songs. I think it writes your presidential speeches. I think it tells each country, each leader what to do. I guarantee you every leader of every country has their own artificial intelligent machine. Folks, Google's artificial intelligence. YouTube. Amazon. It's all AI. So I guarantee you every leader of every country has their own uh, AI telling them what to do, when to do it, how to do it. That's why they all work in unison and sometimes they seem like they act at odds with each other. So, but let's get to what this video is about. Is the vaccine the mark of the beast? No, the vaccine would be a vaccine or the vaccine would be something harmful to you maybe? Maybe it's going to kill you. Maybe it's something that will save your life in this heavy, heavy EMF 60 gigahertz field that will actually allow you to live. And then everybody that said, no, I'm not going to take it. That's the mark of the beast. And they all die. What does that look like? Because you got to think ahead. Of, this is like playing three-dimensional chess. you got to get way out in front of the narrative. The narrative is all the Christians are saying, don't take it. Well, what happens when all these, and most of your Christians are fake Christians, they believe God loves everybody, which he doesn't. And Jesus will say, I never knew you, just because you said, Lord, Lord, because they don't know the truth. So, what do you see? You see all these so-called Christians dying in the streets, or dying in these hospitals. They can't breathe. Like, gee, I guess they weren't really so smart after all. I guess their God wasn't really helping them. I guess we need to listen to our government because the government told us to take this and it'll keep us alive and I'm alive and my so-called Christian friend down the street and his whole family, they're dead. They didn't take the vaccine, which will do what? Create buy-in for what's next, which will be the mark. So the mark then, maybe the demons come into your body after you worship the beast from the chip that you took 18 months before, or 9 months before, or 5 months, or 3 months before. But the actual mark has to coincide with you worshipping the beast and worshipping the image of the beast. So even if you have the device to upload demons inside of you, the mark doesn't actually take place until after you worship the image of the beast. So, and maybe... Just maybe there's no mark at all, or there is a vaccine mark, biometric chip deal that's keeping you alive through that heavy electromagnetic 60 gigahertz, I can't breathe technology that's all over the earth now. Well, I mean, will be. I'm, I'm, I'm speaking future tense at this time that all this is going to take place, which will be a year or two from now. But remember... One-fourth of the earth gets killed. So this is all after one-fourth of the earth is wiped out. Does the actual mark of the beast come? You might already have a vaccine, chip, biometric. You might not. But the mark will be sold to enhance your life, to become a superhero to the point of where you're going to reach godhood, your final, man's final evolution. Because evolution is fake, so they've been lying to you. That's why they created evolution, so they could sell you on this final step of evolution here at the end. You've seen like movies like Iron Man or Spider-Man. You're going to be given super power type abilities if you take the mark. This will be your final step to reach godhood, to be like an alien, to be like a fallen angel because there's going to be a lot of supernatural lying signs and wonders what's the exact verse for that by the way supernatural lying signs and wonders bible verse Acts 17 
11. 2 Thessalonians 2, 9, Matthew 24. Okay, we already read them. Not sure about 17, 11. So, great, show great signs and wonders in so much that if it were possible, shall deceive the very elect. So, okay, we already read the Bible verse. What is Acts 17, 11? And also, uh, here it is. Even him whose coming is after the working of Satan with all power and signs and lying wonders. Okay, I had not read that yet, so I'm glad I Googled it. But what is Acts 17.11, by the way? Not familiar, so I just want to see. Yeah, no. All right, so anyway. So, long story short. A vaccine's a vaccine. Trust it or don't trust it. A biometric tracking system is a biometric tracking system. Trust it or don't trust it. A device that allows you to buy or sell before the Antichrist reveals himself to be God standing in the holy place. After he's risen from receiving a deadly wound. Trust it or don't trust it. But one thing I know for sure, the actual mark of the beast cannot occur. In other words, you can't receive a biometric chip that helps you buy and sell and protects you from EMFs. And that's the mark of the beast. And you're walking around with it for a year and a half. And then the Antichrist declares himself to be God standing in a holy place and automatically demons upload into your body. No. You have to worship the image of the beast for the demons to upload into your body. That's what the new technology is for. To carry the ghost in the machine through the airways. That's why they spray your skies. It's to terraform the earth. To get them ready to come into this world. And to be able to interact with mankind. That's why the Bible verse says, So like it was in the days of Noah, so shall it be when the Son of Man returns. Because in the days of Noah, fallen angels were having sex with human women. That's why Donald Trump has Eros and Sykes statue of a fallen angel having sex with a human woman in Trump Tower, in his penthouse. I just showed you that in the last video. Um, back in the days of Noah, the reason why God brought the flood was because there were giants on the earth in those days. That's Revelation, I mean, excuse me, that's Genesis did I say Revelation earlier? Genesis chapter 6, verses 1 through 9. Genesis chapter 6, verses 1 through 9. And the Lord said, my, bah, 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 bah. The sons of God, which are fallen angels, saw daughters of men, which are human women, saw that they were fair, took them as wives of which they chose and the Lord said my spirit shall not always strive with man for he is also for that he also is flesh yet his days shall be uh, 120 years there were giants on the earth in those days why giants because they were mating with fallen angels humans were mating with fallen angels two verses above it and also after that when the sons of God Fallen angels came into the daughters of men, human women, and they bare children unto them. The same became mighty men, which were of old, men of renown. Over here in the New Living Translation, it says, For whenever the sons of God had intercourse with women, they gave birth to children who became the heroes and famous warriors of ancient times. That's where you get your Greek gods and goddesses, Zeus, and all that kind of stuff. So... ISIS, you name it, whatever you want to say. That's why the TV show Ancient Aliens, they try to sell you that there were aliens that had visited the Earth to build all these relics and buildings and pyramids and so forth that no way man had a technology. Yes, this was fallen angel technology they had. So like it was in the days of Noah, so shall it be when the Son of Man returns. These 
ancient alien demonic fallen angel entities are back through the 5G technology. They will upload into man through the 5G technology. Through all the supernatural lying signs and wonders, man will be sold to take it. All they got to do is worship the image. They will worship the image. Why? For thou shalt arise false Christ and false prophets and show great signs and wonders insomuch that if it were possible, they shall deceive the very elect. But they don't. But they deceive everybody else. It's that simple. So like it was in the days of Noah, so shall it be when the Son of Man returns. But as the days of Noah were, so shall the coming of the Son of Man be. Matthew chapter 24, verse 37. Fallen angels are going to be all over the place. But I think manifesting as potential alien type entities and or just simply be indwelt inside of man through the uploading and basically what I mean by uploading through the the new technology becoming possessed and transforming your body to something it was not giving it superhero type abilities and people will see this as amazing you watch the movie Iron Man well what if the next door neighbor goes I want to be like you Iron Man and he goes well, all you got to do is is uh take this mark here let me let me see here let me let me let me upload here you go let me plug you into this computer yeah there you go let me upload this into now nah, there you go now you can fly <laughs> really that's all i got to do yep that's all you got to do see everybody's going to be thirsty for this they will have all forgotten about the god of the bible through after world war 3 and the rising of uh trump from the dead because Trump's going to blaspheme God. Blaspheme everything that is God. So, oh, it's already there. And he was given a mouth speaking great things and blasphemies and had power was given unto him to continue 42 months and he opened his mouth. Blasphemy against God, blaspheme his name and his tabernacle, uh, and he made war with the saints. Everybody else he's not making war with, they're going to buy in. They're going to buy in. I got people right now, they think they're Christian, but they watch Fox News nonstop, and they love Donald Trump. They're, they're ripe. They're ripe for this. Because if they have no discernment now concerning Fox News or Donald Trump, how in the world are they going to have discernment when all these supernatural lying signs and wonders? Uh, uh, there's no way. Unless they're just lost sheep right now. Unless they're just right now lost sheep. So, the vaccine is the vaccine. The biometric chip's the biometric chip. Something inside of you, a device that allows you to buy or sell electronically, might all be the same thing. They might be separate. Let's assume they're the same thing. That's, that's its own entity has nothing to do with worshiping the image of the beast, which you can't receive the mark, which means you can't receive demons uploading into your body, giving you superhero powers, man's final evolution, quote unquote, until you worship that the beast. And for you to worship the beast, he has to rise from the dead, from the deadly wound that heals. So all things in context, and this is three-dimensional chess. You've got to be way out in front. Because right now, all that I'm seeing on most of the truth channels that they control, they'll give you 50%, 60%, 70%, and some 80% of the truth. But they're always leading you down the wrong path. They're going to take you down a side road. Blindfold you and kidnap you. You think you're on a joy ride, having fun, doing shots? Nope. They sounded like they were 
telling you the right thing, but then they went off on this little side road. They told you they were going to take you. You were trusting them the whole way because everything they were telling you was the truth, but then they took you down this side road, but you still believed them because they had been telling the truth all along. Then all of a sudden, they, they start lying. See, when somebody's telling you the truth, but in one sentence, they start lying to you, you never know. When did they stop telling me the truth and start lying? And that's how they do it. I used to get suckered into Alex Jones. He'd sit there and tell you the truth about 9-11 all day long. And I was like, oh, Lordy, finally somebody's telling us the truth. He's telling the truth about JFK assassination, or so we thought. He's telling the truth about 9-11, at least for the most part. And you're just like, wow. Then all of a sudden, Trump comes along and he starts telling you, Trump is a godsend, an imperfect messenger of God, a King David for our time. Um, that's when he went off on the side road. Or they would put they would put Alex Jones on TV, do an interview like on ABC, primetime television, and he'd go nuts and start screaming act like an idiot, which made every person that followed him look like what? An idiot. All by design. So you have to be very, very careful of who you're watching, how you're watching. Why did I bring this up? Because... They've led you down the path by using the nefarious, evil, evil Bill Gates to sell you on a vaccine, which actually might be something to save your life. But since they use Bill Gates in giving you his track record, you're like, I ain't taking it. And they might just be setting you up to look foolish and die. Or the people that have been being suckered all along might end up living because... They end up taking the vaccine. So do you see how tricky this can all be? So that's all. I just want you to be aware. You got it. And it takes spiritual discernment to stay out in front of all this. And I pray every day for it. And thank God every day for it. If I got it. And I think I do. All right. Love you.